Well guys, welcome to my shop. Uh, this video is full of peril, but I'm, I want you to stay tuned. I'm going to show you how I made this, almost all of it anyway. I, if you looked at my last video, you, you see that you remember I had that bad lightning strike in the yard. That was uh, pretty catastrophic actually. It uh, blew out the pipes in five different places under the slab of the house. Appliances and TVs and all that kind of stuff. Uh, luckily, I had you know a lot of my electronics. Uh, TVs not totally out, but it still works, but it has problems. But you know uh, everything else is on surge suppressors, uh, computers and stuff like that. They're okay. Ceiling fans, couple ceiling fans, this and that. Uh, had, like I said, I had five leaks under the house. Plumbers were in here for over two days and. Electrician's here now. Well, he's not here today. Today's the 4th of July. Uh, he was here most of the day yesterday. Put the dishwasher in and, you know, done some plug-ins and stuff like that. And today, the, my wife said the dishwasher, it doesn't drain right, so, boy, oh boy. Nothing seems to be going right. It's just one thing after another. Having to replace absolutely every plug-in and every light switch throughout the house and the shop. Uh, it even blew breakers up here in the shop, so they, they recommend that all the plug-ins be uh, checked, and while they're doing it, they're just going to put new ones in. So I, I guess I'll come out better in the long run, but I sure don't like doing it this route. Anyway, uh, I, I filmed most of this with a piece of Chinese uh, crap because my, uh, my JVC it finally went out, you know, it's been knocked over over the years and stuff like that. It finally bellied up, and so I've had to film it with that until my new JVC came in. That's what we're using now, you probably notice. The picture's probably better, the sound's better, and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, like I said, you get what you pay for, so uh, here we go. Uh, bear with me on the sound and the noise, and, and I'm sorry I missed a little bit of the finishing, but... Uh, being since this is in week two, I, you know, I sort of lost track of what I was doing. So we're going to pick it back up and get with it. Okay. <coughs> well, as usual, I'm going to start as usual. <laughs> that made a lot of sense, didn't it? So I, I cut me a little piece of, uh, I believe this is uh, white oak. Could, eh, it could be something else, who knows. Anyway, it's out of my junk pile. Because uh, I'm going to make, this is going to be my mold. So I'm going to make a plug that go in here like this, like so. Uh, so I've already got my calibers marked. And I got my beaver ready. And it looks like I don't have to cut it down much. So I'm going to put it on the lace and then I'm going to uh, square the bottom up first. be the very first thing I'll do. I'll, I'll, mar I'll mark my center with the tail stock. And I guess we will get on with it. See, I don't know what the heck I'm doing here. I've never done this before. This is my plug. It's all sealed. And what I've got here is I've got from my grandson's dog. I got a bunch of blue hair, and from my from Brandy, I got a bunch of red hair. Then I got all these little figurines of dogs. So the idea is to. Have the dogs going around here on top of a bit of hair, and then I'll put hair in between them all. Uh, maybe I don't know. Hell, yeah, let's go. Let's just, I mean, I mean, all we can do is go. So let me see what I'm doing here. This, this is uh, where to go? Where to go? 
This is 3M Super Blue. I'm hoping it don't. Uh, so I'm going to come in here and put some brandy here, right here. <laughs> so this is. I think this is going to be more hilarious than anything. Maybe, uh, let's see. Now I'm just going to get more blonde hair. Put it right here. I don't need the weeds in there. Around here. Let's see. And another sport here. Blonde hair up here. And some red hair down here. You think I'm making a wig, huh? Might be, might be, you never know. You never know about me, guys. Mama didn't raise no fool, but she, but she did raise somebody that's willing to try anything once. Maybe more than once, I don't know. I'm going to let that sit up a little while. <laughs> and then I'll come back. Let's try a poodle. Let me see here. Just, I'm only going to go two rows of them. I guess I need to park me a place right there. Give me a little bit of super glue in here. Like that. Dog in there. At the top, yeah, stay with me, baby. Just, just gotta double a little bit. Okay. Make sure I'm at the top. Okay. So this may be a harebrained idea. I'll come in here and find me another bear spot. Or make a bear spot. Alright, let's put a. Oh, this guy's gotta go this way. His head is coming up. Bottom right there. I know what she said. Boy, that's the dumbest thing I ever seen. Ah, uh, well. <coughs> what can I say? I'm pretty sure I'm about to agree with you. Haircut. Okay, last dog. That yeah, looks like a good bear spot right there. I'm going to let that cool off. I'm getting ready to do some mixing. And I know I'm going to have to thin this stuff because, you know, I, I, I just don't know about this. this like I said before, this may have been one of the dumbest ideas I've had. But this, I got this stuff here and it's made for thinning epoxies. I always use denatured alcohol. But what I found is that really, really slows the setup time. I mean, sometimes it's still uh, soft in a couple of days. So uh, it says no more than four ounces per gallon. Well, hell, I don't know how to measure that. I'm just going to put a cap full in. It's called a swag, I guess. Hmm. I'm going to have a mess to clean up today. I believe it settled in pretty good. Looking pretty good. Oof. What a mess. Well, yeah, let me see what it looks like. Yeah. I'm going to put it in a pressure pot. Alright, get this mess cleaned up. I'll catch you on the rebound. I can't, I can't seem to slip this plastic bowl off of here. And I'm, I'm trying not to even scratch this out here because, you know, I don't see any bubbles in it and I know it's going to be smooth and maybe I won't even want to turn this. So what I'm going to do is take the point tool and come in here to get that off. I'm going to come in here now. I'm going to try to try to work the rest of it off without having, you know, normally I, I put a cut down here, but it always goes through and scratches this. And I don't want to do that. Oh, yeah, see, that's what I wanted. Look at here. Oh, 
Oh, yes, nice, nice, nice. One little bubble right there. This turned out a whole lot better than I thought it would. Place right there, and that one's hit. I may have to polish that. I'm really going to have to be careful coming in here. Is it gone? I think it is. Yeah, I had to plug this camera up directly. My, my JVC camera, which I normally use, did beat the dust. Uh, the LCD just quit working on me. I got a new one ordered. In the meantime, I'm using this Chinese thing. I always wear a glove on this hand because if you got if you're using a bare hand and you grab it here and it starts to spin, these uh, key key gears here, man, they they can hurt. Let's see what we're going to do here now. There we go. See that or not, but there it is. That is, what would you say? Eighth inch thick. That's that's enough for me. All right. Next thing I gotta do is go find me some. Uh, I gotta go get my piece of walnut, cut out my base, and mix some glue, and put it on. And, uh, and of course, this guy's set up. 
But I'm probably not going to mess with this no more today. Because I really like for that epoxy to sit up like overnight. And all right, I'm ready to glue it on. I got my walnut all cut out. And I got it roughed a little bit. I made it a little smaller than I really wanted to because I was trying to get the ring and the walnut and the base out of the same piece of walnut to keep from wasting it. Uh, but this, this and this is pretty close to being the same size. So that caused a little bit of a problem. Okay, what I'm going to use is my favorite for things that really require stress is two-tone epoxy. It's uh, DEFCON two-tone epoxy. It is the absolute best you can get. In my humble opinion, this is... Uh, when I used to make knives, I used to put the, the handles on, on the stainless steel with this. And this is all that held them, and I have yet to have one come off. So there we go. So we don't need a whole lot. About it, right about there. And I'll get approximately the same amount. Contrary to popular belief, it does not have to be exact. Now, it needs to be close, but it does not have to be exact. So what I do is I take the bottles, and they got little marks on them, and I let them settle down, and I see that I am at the same level on both of them, which tells me I pretty, I pretty much got the same amount on each one. Now, I put the blue tape on really tight best I could because I'm trying my best not to get any epoxy on this part because I really don't want to have to turn this. So let's uh, let's see what we got here. I guess I ought to mix it up first. You think? You think it might work better? Now, this does not need to be mixed like forever. This particular epoxy has like a 30 minute uh, work time. So it's really good for something like that. So that ought to get it right there. And again, one more time just to make sure you got it pretty good here. It does not have to be a humongous coat now. You need to make sure you got both surfaces real flat though. It's mega important. And they need to be flat and they need to be roughened up. Other things will tear up before this stuff comes apart on you. Your wood, your wood or your bowl or something, if you tried to remove it, would uh, come apart. This wood would come apart before. Looks like I've done a good job on the mixing. It's damn near perfect. Just make sure it's all covered good. Nope. I want to do not want that right there in the center. Okay. She is out of my way. Just right here, just in case I get a drip. All right, I got a little dot right in the center. I'll put it on the live center. I'll bring it up. I will applicate it. And I always like to take and do a little bit of this to it. And then I do the coals to it. Just like that. Alright, it's, uh, it's really good and set up now. It's been about 18 hours. That's plenty. I'm going to go ahead and, and clean this bottom up. I uh, haven't quite decided yet. That's where I'm going to put a uh, Tenon in our recess. I have a tendency to lean toward tenons a little bit more. Maybe I'll do a recess tenon. I'll have to do some measuring here in a minute. Let's get this 
part cleaned up first and see how it looks. I'm going to start off with a round cutter. 1,000 RPM. to put a recess in there because you'd be a little too close to the edge so I'm going to go ahead and do a, a tenon right here. A little. That was pretty easy. slipping and not being really centered. Now, let's see what it looks like. Looks good. This again is two ton epoxy. I'll put this on and maybe I'll be able to get to it this afternoon. But it's been about four hours. I'm going to give it a try. Normally I leave it overnight, but grandson's going to be here tomorrow and he's going to want to turn something on the lake, so I'm not going to have to tie it up. It's around the cutter and I'm going to clean this out here and then I'm going to work my way around. Well, here's the end product. Uh, 
Sorry I missed some of the final part of videoing it, but it happened during the middle of all, you know, the lightning strike and everything. Sort of lost track of where I was and what I was doing. It it turned out all right, but it didn't turn out as well as I wanted it to. So, you know, I, I wanted to not have to turn this epoxy part, but I got a catch during the uh, when I was doing the lip up here. Went into it, so I ended up having to turn it. So I ended up with. Uh, couple of the dogs got a little bit of white right there where I got into them when I turned it. Plus, uh, they floated up. I guess they, they weren't attached good to the plug. So I lost a couple heads. But, you know, that's, that's what this whole hobby's about, you know. You, you don't learn anything from total successes. You know, you learn a lot from failures. And I really sort of consider this a pretty, you know, not a failure failure, but it's, it's not... It's not equal to what I'm capable of. So it's a little disappointing, but you know, if you don't, if you don't try it, you sure don't know how to do it. it uh, you know, it did turn. It's all right. It's you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to one of my grandsons, and he's got he owns one of these dogs. He'll he'll put it on a shelf and be proud of it for years to come. His papa turned it. But uh, the bottom, uh, bottom not finished up the bottom. It had a little tendon right there. I cut, I cut that out, and I actually left a hump right here and did my lasering on it. It looks pretty good. The in inside's acceptable. It probably hold water. So there you have it, my friends. Uh, give, give me a like, you know, or. At least have pity on me and give me a like or something like that. I need all the help I can get right now. It's a, still a big mess around here. I'm slowly but surely going to get back to normal and we'll, we'll start doing things that are a little bit better looking than this. So, you know, like I always say, keep them whirling, call your mama, tell your friends, you know, hit the bell, whatever, and I'll catch you on the rebound.